Here's an example of how I would use Note Flight to push out an assignment to my AP Music Theory class. I've got a worksheet here that I'm going to put into Note Flight. I'm going to hit Create and select the piano instrument. So I've got a default open page here and my exercise is in C minor and it's in 3-4. So the first thing I'm going to do is change those things. So we'll change the time signature, 3-4. Now the key signature, we'll do C minor. So far so good. Now I'm going to put a bass line in from my worksheet in the lower voice. My MIDI keyboard is already plugged in and set up, so all I have to do is play the notes. There's C, we go F, F sharp, G, A flat for two beats and I'm going to use the bracket key to make that a half note. Finish on G, dotted half note, and down to one, dotted half note. I'm going to delete the last two measures here, and now I'm all set up to add some figured bass. However, this F sharp did not enter as F sharp, but that is no problem. I can click on the note and hit the Z key, and that'll flip the enharmonic. So now for the figured bass. This is super easy. I'm going to select the first note and write my prompt. By hitting the letter K, I activate the chord tool. So I'm going to tell the students that it's in C minor by typing C and colon. Then I'm going to go on to the next note. Uh, let me back this up a little bit. I'm going to highlight that C and tap the arrow keys over. And maybe I'll go up a little bit here. Great, so that's the one chord in root position. Now, according to my worksheet, this has got to be a 2-6-5 chord. So I'm going to enter in 6-5. You hit the K, the number 6, the space, and the 5. By putting in the space, you're telling Note Flight to stack those notes on top numbers, stack those numbers on top of each other. So now I've got my F sharp. This is going to be a 5-6-5-5. Five, five, five. So 6-5. And to get that natural in, I'm going to type the equal sign. Next note. We are at the 5 chord, and I'm going to raise the leading tone. Equal sign all by itself. So the figured bass is coming along just great. Now I'm going to, according to the worksheet, put a chord on beat 3. There's no note on beat 3. So to do this, I'm going to make this a quarter note. Using the mouse, I'm going to put another quarter note right here. And while that note is selected, I'm going to add the inversion. So K, then the number 6. This will create a 4-6 chord. Now all I have to do is delete this note, and the chord symbol will, re will remain. Then I'll make this go back out to a half note. So I've got the chord symbol on beat 3. This will be a root position 6 chord going to 4-6. So then I'll finish up. Let's add a 7th chord here. And then the final chord will be on one, and the worksheet says Picardy third. So there we go. Now I can send this out to my students by going up to the upper right hand corner into score details. Since Note Flight is, oh, I didn't do a title. Let me do the title. Let's call this uh, Free Response 5. There. So now I'm going to hit Save, and I'm going to create a Google Classroom assignment. Here's my class, Music Theory, and I can create a due date right here. I'll give them till tomorrow, and then I'll hit Save. That's all there is to it. It will appear in their Google Classroom, and if you want to take a peek at that, I can do it. Let me just open another tab and I'll go to Google Classroom. Here's my music theory. And that's the assignment that I just created. My two students are sitting there looking for their assignment. And that's what it looks like.
Now I better go delete that before they panic.